Hi everybody and good morning. It's Carrie from KDS Insurance Services. How are you doing Monday? Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I'm coming to you today because I had some I've had some questions over the last couple of weeks about um, entrepreneurship and in, in specific terms opening and running an insurance agency. And so I thought I'd take a few moments today to kind of talk to you a little bit about that and my experience. Um, the first thing I want to say is coming into owning my own agency, which I opened in 2010, I had uh, 20 some, 20, 25 some years of experience working for other agents um, across the board in multiple different carriers, uh, independent carriers and captive carriers. So let's just talk about that for, us, for example, for the first thing. An independent agent represents multiple carriers. Um, we have the ability to write multiple products with multiple carriers. And so you um, get appointed by those carriers and then you are able to write business. So you're not limited to just one company. You have multiple companies. And normally you get issued for all personal lines and all commercial lines. I am also licensed for life and health, so I can write all sorts of life insurance products, all sorts of health products, long-term care, disability, uh, uh, supplements, major medical, and then all the personal, uh, what we call P&C products, which are home, auto, trailers, umbrellas, motorcycles, dwellings, boats, you name it, and that's sort of the P&C side of it. So. I have multiple carriers. I have over 20, uh, no, I'm sorry, I have over 40 some carriers combined uh, that I represent and I write multiple different quotes for all of the different products that I have available. And the reason I do that is because I want to give my clients as many options as possible uh, when it comes to providing their insurance for best package, the best package of coverage is at the very best price. That's an independent agent. A captive agent is generally a state farm agent, a farmer's agent, all state farmers, uh, you know, they're captive. They only represent that carrier. So state farm agents only represent state farm. They don't have multiple options when it comes to writing and quoting their insurance. That's the difference between an, uh, an actual ca captive agent and an independent agent, which is what I am. So I opened my business in 2010 and I opened with Allstate. I decided that I wanted to pursue um, an agency with Allstate and I had them for almost three years, just about three years, and I left Allstate for many different reasons. But the, the main reason I left is because I was seeing um, very large increases for my clients at renewal. And my clients had no options. I had no other choice for them um, when I went to quote their insurance. So I, I had to keep with, I either lost the client or the client had to take a rate increase, which, you know, and we're talking anywhere from 20 to 30% rate increases, which I think is for somebody who's had no claims and pays their bills on time and all that. I think that's unacceptable. And so that was the catalyst for me to leave and then become an independent agent. So in today's world to become an independent agent, it is a very complicated and difficult process to go to these mass uh, variations of, eight of carriers and get appointed brand new. Um, they want to see production, they want to see revenue, um, they want to see experience. And so for you to open an independent agency uh, and then have multiple carriers right off the bat, that is very unheard of. And it's a very difficult process. So. I decided when I switched from independent, from captive to independent, I knew that I needed to be part of a group of agents where I could pay somebody to get the appointments for me, produce all of the policies, have my own agency, have my own business, but hire somebody to go out and cultivate all these relationships with all these carriers. And so I am part of a group that is called Premier Group Insurance out of Denver. Uh, I did a lot of research on the multiple different clusters. That's kind of the term that we use for groups where there's a bunch of agents uh, across the United States and we pool all of our production, we go to the carriers and then we have a better rate. We have group pricing because we're part of a big group. 
that's really important really important because for you to be able to generate the volume you need to to open and run a business you need to have competitive pricing you need to be able to offer multiple quotes um, and offer in in my opinion the best best coverage is at the best price that's my philosophy when I get a new client or I quote a client at renewal that is my guarantee at KDS Insurance Services. You will always have a choice. I will always give you an option to requote your insurance. I try to do them always at renewal, but there are occasions where we have carrier problems and the client gets frustrated and, and decides they want to leave their current carrier. And so I requote the carrier and then move them. Um, and so that is that is why I do what I do. I'm part of a group called Premier Group Insurance. If you're wanting to start an agency and you'd like a referral, by all means, reach out to me. Um, you can do it through my YouTube channel, this channel, Carrie Devlin Scroggins, or you can go to my webpage, uh, which is www.kds-insurance-services, or you can call me at any time and we can set up that, re that referral. I think, in this market, in this economy, at this particular time in our industry, if you're wanting to be an independent agent, being part of a group or a cluster is the way to go because you're going to get more carriers as soon as you sign up. You're going to get the support system through PGI, um, the training and all of that. If you're brand new and you come to this industry with no experience, that is a, a, a really important piece of this puzzle. Uh, insurance is a complicated industry. It requires a lot of it requires a lot of organization. It requires a lot of follow up. You need to have st trained staff. Um, you need to do it right. And being part of a group like this will make sure that you check off all the boxes. That's what you hire them to do, and you pay them a, a certain amount of money. In exchange for that, then they get you the appointments and provide all the service and training and software that you need to open and run a business. If it was me, that's the way I would go because you're going to have more opportunity to write more business because you have more carriers. They are an absolute A plus organization. Um, I searched many of them and none of them had a, as competitive contract and informed and uh, experienced staff. Um, Rex Hicksling is the vice president of the company and I did a personal interview with him and he is the reason I signed with PGI because I knew that we were on the same page. So what do you need to have an independent insurance agency? Well, <clears throat> a lot of the carriers want, want you to have an actual office, not just an office out of your home, but an actual office. That's changed a little bit because of the COVID situation and there are still many areas of the, the country that uh, are not completely opened back up. So um, do I think you need to have a, an actual office? Yes, I do believe you need to have an office just so if your clients want to come and see you, you have a, you have a place for them. You still have all the availability to do everything remotely though. You know, there's tons of software and programs out there that you could actually have a face-to-face -face conversation um, with a client by using video chat and all of that kind of stuff. So that, so yes and no, depending on where you are. Eventually though, I would say yes, you need to have an office because a lot of the carriers are gonna wanna know that you have an office. So what does that take to have an office? Well, um, the big question that everybody asks me is, do you need staff? Personally, it depends on you. Uh, if you are organized and you are disciplined and you have good follow-up procedures and you can maintain and run an office by yourself, uh, you're probably going to be okay for about a year or so. It just depends though. Uh, it depends on your ability to multitask and do service work and sales work and you know all of those types of work. Um, using one person. Service work, the bigger you get, the bigger that beast becomes. Service work takes up a lot of time. Um, it has a lot of steps to it to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Um, and so the bigger you get, the quicker you get there, the more you're going to need staff. 
Um, I would always suggest to you that you have a licensed um, assistant, customer service representative, producer, whatever you want. If you need that person to be talking to your clients and answering questions about coverages, they have to have a license. No question about it. You cannot expose yourself without having somebody that has a license. If you are just needing somebody to do computer work and follow-up work and mailing and all of those other type of ancillary functions, then they don't necessarily have to have a license. You just need to be willing to train them in the very specific steps and processes that you need to make sure that your agency is checking all the boxes, compliance, and following up, checking to make sure everything is done. In that case, if they're not on the phone and they're not answering questions, they can be on the phone, they just can't answer questions, then that individual doesn't necessarily need to be licensed. Um, I will tell you, as a new agent, I did go to the county, at, at the time it was Parker County in North Texas, and I asked them what kind of programs that they had available for people who were needing jobs, um, and in, an intern, if you will because it's a great way for you to get the help that you need, but the state and the county actually pays them their wages. Um, they're learning it, they're learning a trade, they're coming to your office and they're pre-screened by the programs that are available through the county. Um, they're an intern, they come to your office, you train them, they work for you, but they actually get paid by the county. That is a great way for a new agent to find uh, an employee that has been screened on the back end, uh, that you're not one spending the expense to pay the wages, but you know that you're getting a quality candidate that's been vetted by the county in the which that you live. And I would strongly encourage you, if you're considering opening an agency, that you check that out. It was a valuable service for me, and I used it for almost two years. And that saved me the expense of paying somebody. They were working for me and I trained them and they eventually got a license and you know all of that, but the actual expense is was paid by somebody else. Very, very important, uh, potentially great way for you to get uh, a good uh, employee in your office. I'm just looking at my notes by the way, so just a minute. Um, Okay, so what kind of money do you need to get started on your um, agency? Well, a lot of it depends on what contracts you sign. Um, you personally, what your, what your tastes are, if you're gonna hire an employee. Um, minimum though, you need an internet, you need a very good computer, you need a very good printer. You, obviously, you need to have all of those things associated with an office, a desk, and you know all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, I mean, you're looking at probably, um, when I started my Allstate agency, my startup, if you will, uh, was about $25,000. Um, that got me everything that I needed. Now, that's probably on the higher end because Allstate had some requirements that, as an independent agent, you're not going to have to have. Um, a good number, I think, uh, that I can say is, is a really good, safe number for you is probably about 10000 to 15000 depending on rent and all of that kind of stuff. But that's a good number to, to kind of target and shoot for. Uh, if you're doing it strictly out of your home uh, and you're able to do that, then you, you definitely need to have a dedicated office where you can have quiet and not be interrupted and all of those all of that. So just kind of think about uh, that's what you would need. Um, it is very important that being an insurance agent, as I mentioned before, you need to be really organized. When you're doing changes for your clients, you need to have documentation, you need to do, you need to do the work, then you need to have a pending system follow-up to make sure the carrier actually did what you asked them to do. Um, and then you have a good filing system. You also need to have a filing system that is secured. Um, I personally have everything in a locked area of my office and it's not um, open and available after hours. It's uh, in my office and it's locked and I know that it is safe and secure. Because you are collecting important information, dates of birth, social security number, driver's license number, credit card numbers, 
all of those types of things you are collecting as an agent and so it you are required because of your errors and emissions insurance but for compliance reasons also you need to be responsible and make sure that your your uh, customers information is always locked and secured you owe it to your clients to do that that's really important you also need a really good phone system uh, one that you can of course get messages on but then do uh, office out or you know office hours holiday hours um, it is very important uh, one tip that is very very important when you are setting up your uh, offices is to always let your clients know that they cannot request changes via your voicemail system that is very important for compliance reasons you you either need to speak to somebody or receive direct communication from your clients in order to make those changes so you can document going backward it's very important um, you know that's kind of the basics of uh, of it you know I will tell you that if you're in the if you're uh, serious about opening an agency you're gonna have to realize that this is a 40 to 60 hour week um, I personally waited until my kids were grown because I knew the amount of time that I was going to need to dedicate to my business do I love what I do absolutely would I recommend it to you absolutely just go into it knowing it's a lot of work um, you're going to have to have some money up front depending on where you go and who you sign with. You're going to need good employment, uh, good empl uh, employees. Uh, but there's options there like I, I mentioned. So that, that's a way to offset some of your expenses. Um, the trade-off has been phenomenal. Um, I love what I do. I love my clients and I'm very passionate about uh, making sure that my clients have everything that they need. Uh, I'm available 24-7. That's part of the gig. If you're not willing to do that, then this business is not for you. Uh, but the rewards are phenomenal. I have clients that I've had for as long as I've been a business owner that were with me at Allstate and then moved uh, from Allstate with me to my uh, independent agency. And so would I recommend it? Yes. It's a wonderful career to have. Um, everybody has to have insurance. It doesn't have to be boring. It can be um, a great way for you to have a very nice income. It's a lot of work though, and I, I can't stress that enough. If you're not willing to put in the time, then you're gonna be spinning your wheels. So um, if you want a referral to PGI, I'm absolutely happy to do that for you. Please reach out to me and I will certainly help you. I'm also here and available if you if you want to get uh, talk to me offline and have more specifics. I'm I'm okay to do that too. You can always reach me at 817-374-4477 or 832-391-8271. Um, I hope that kind of helps you a little bit. Uh, it's not a, 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 a you know a, a full in depth, but it kind of gives you the high points of what you're looking at, and um, it's a it's a great industry. To be a part of you will always people always have to have insurance so it's a necessary it's a necess necessity and um, they're always going to need it so you can always find the clients industry has changed a little bit with marketing and um, how to market your clients that's kind of changed cold calling is dead uh, internet marketing social media marketing is the wave of the future so you need to be a part of that too but PGI can provide you with all of that. So, um, like I said, it's a great partnership that I have. I enjoy working with them. They're all very, very efficient, and I would recommend them very highly. So, please reach out to me and let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Stop by my channel if you would, please, and like and subscribe, and ding, ding, ding that bell so you know when I'm posting my next videos. I do post them twice a week. Uh, and they're here for your educational purposes only. Uh, I'm expressing my own opinions. I'm not endorsing any carriers. Uh, I am endorsing PGI because I partner with them and I know their experience and I, I know you will not be disappointed. So make it a great week, guys. We're, we're full into Christmas holidays. Please be safe. Uh, remember, we've got fire hazards in our homes with our trees. Uh, if you're gonna go shopping, please do it in numbers, safety in numbers, lots of bad people around. 
Uh, we don't want them to take advantage of the holidays. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday, however you celebrate the holidays. I hope it's a wonderful holiday for you. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, uh, and I'll catch up with you next week. Have a great week, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.